of the steering. This is what's going on. This is the reason that that thing was extremely hard to steer and was just fixing to break. These little recirculating balls has got to go around in there, nice and smooth. It brings this up and down on the gears there, and uh, that's what turns it. This thing being soaked down in there in water, I don't know what kind of grease they got. And uh, it was doing all it could do. No wonder that steering wheel was coming up so far. And yes, this thing here costs a lot of money. What you're looking at here is $200. Me and Dougie was uh, talking about the uh, gaskets a minute ago. Let me pull this tarp off and I'll show you. When you see me pull that sector out over there, on this side, come through here, the steering sector. That was $25. Uh-huh. That's the gaskets, put it back on. When I pull this one out, that'll be $25 for the gaskets, that's one side. This thing here, they claim that has these bearings on both sides, I wouldn't call that a bearing. That's $25. I wanna get the metal one. The ball bearing races they, uh, that comes in here, I think they come with that, it's 25 dollars. This is supposed to be a spring and seal and a bearing. That's 25 dollars. That reminds me of, uh, I said this before, but my old buddy uh, Kenny, he asked me, he says, uh, reckon why uh, Charles, he's talking about my uncle Charles, he says, reckon why Charles uh, puts his tractor up under the shed and parks his brand new car on the outside. And I told him, I said, well, have you ever bought a part for a tractor? <laughs> yes, sir. If he would, uh, if he'd owned one, he'd known why he'd done that. Uh, yeah, everything I'm touching here costs money, money, money. I think the steering wheel was uh, 40 something bucks, I believe. Yeah, anything you, anytime you touch uh, anything on here, you gotta look out. You know, like somebody asking you, what was you? piece of living together. Well, I'm trying to save a dollar. These are little dust boots, two or three dollars a piece. Yes, tractor parts. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I got to, uh, I got to see what's running through that flange there. and get them wires out of there. Got one big wire here running to the back. Spliced in, cut down something thin. This needs to be completely uh, rewired. I went through there uh, patching up to uh, find out where the short was. Got it all back together and uh, you got to short again. These, these light bulb housings right here, you have to sit down when you look the prices up of that. Saved a good bit of money when I uh, got that thing fixed and I still need the gasket set for the top. It's a slow go. 
and uh, the other Kenny on Facebook now, uh, he's saying, uh, well, why bother with it? You're going to wind up pushing that tractor again and all that kind of stuff. Well, he ain't over here, you see. He don't know what's going on. You got to fix the steering, man. Come on. Now, after saying all that, I might get something done, and I might not. Let me gather some tools on a Sunday afternoon. This big wire here, running through here, running across the top, running right across there. Going across the top is going to the headlights that there's something wrong with. And it's got another wire attached into it here. Let me figure out what I'm going to remove or just simply cut. This is going back there to the flasher. I need to open up that gentleman some more. That. through there let me see finally and I was looking at every bit of that wiring wrong oh yeah that thing ain't been off in a uh, long time it's going to be good and clean. And that's that little bolt. Fits on that slot. Right there. That's real hard to get to. Okay. I'm the monkey with this. That just ain't gonna be enough clearance right there. Just ain't gonna do it. I'm scraping off more crud, more dirt, more grease. And as I'm standing here doing this, This is what's going on up above me. Not looking good. contaminants to fall down in there at all.
<sighs> it's gonna be like last summer. Can't get nothing done. Is that what it's gonna be? Just standing here uh, gazing at this, I would say a ball has come out of there. And I would say that one has come out of there. And to confirm that theory, this won't work unless all the balls is in there. It will not work. To confirm that theory, I come out here and down in there, I see one ball there, one ball there, possibly three balls. I will get a magnet and find out. Yeah, that was fixing to stop working all together. Go away, clouds. Let me find the magnet. Alright, let's go fishing. Hmm? Get some of that metal off there first. Hey man, let go. Huh. Yeah, that was four right there. Come here, you. There's another. All you gotta do is come off of there. Ah, right, it's gonna take both hands. Okay, after the fishing expedition, this thing lost its balls. Sixteen balls. All in in the bottom. Tell me how the thing even worked. It can't work without all of its balls. Hmm. No wonder that was hard to turn. You will use suits in your wardrobe, a new I heard there's a nerd out here somewhere. Alright, my hole is missing. I got to go buy a hole. Alright, I'm gonna go in here and look at their fine selection of holes. Alright, we're in the hole section. There. Don't want much for it, do they? That's what I need. A $20 hoe. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I like the wood handles, but uh, around there, you, you better get something that ain't gonna break. And uh, like I say, that's uh, I've had some of them break lots of times. Yeah. And that's made on. Ah. You have to study your hoe. You have to be well particular with your hoe. That's right. Don't let your hoe get out of hand. <laughs> All right, my new hoe is in the truck. We're down here at Aldi's. Doug, I don't know if you ever seen this. They charge you, uh, you know, a uh, I believe it's a quarter 
if you want to get one of their shopping carts. Uh, I haven't got any change, so... Uh, Way out, if you return your buggy, you get your quarter back. Yeah, well, they, they ain't got nothing no way, so I ain't gonna give their they buggy a quarter. Sure didn't. I got my new hole in my hand. Established 1774. Our tools built American. My hoe lied to me. All right, we got the big food depot. Oh, here's Stone Mountain. We'll try them out. Well, they lied. The old food depot does not have what we're looking for whatsoever. We walked up and down about every aisle in there and could not find it, so, you know. All right, after riding all over the United States, we're going to uh, see if I can't put this together. I just dropped a rivet. Ooh, I got a spare. Put that through there. See if this is gonna be long enough. Thank you well if it ever go in. And back. Now I got this chain wrapped in my finger. Make a federal case out of it. Back up here. Look at it, hook it, sir. Okay, I did find an 18 millimeter. And boy, I really like that right there. You can see the size of it. They should have had that on both sides. Ah, let's get in here. Get our socket. I might turn it this way if I'm straight to read. We have a 22, 21. Twenty-one, did I say? Oh, I'm missing the twenty. Okay, we got a nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. I have not got. It. Oh, what did I say? Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 12 and 10. And this is an 11. Mm hmm. Move these over a little bit. And I'll set them right there. I'm missing 1, 2, 3. And this little handle will be tough until it's broken in. Get the loose on them rivets. And there is that socket tray done. 
It's still not dry, but uh, you know, it'll be a little while longer. And I've just noticed that's the wrong one. That's a uh, 12 point. That ain't what I wanted. Okay, somebody has got to go work the hole. Now, do I want to get greasy on uh, this late in the evening? No. No, I don't. I think I call it a day. I think Kenny said something like, don't fix something if it ain't broke. Mm -hmm. Besides that, you know, if I was to uncover, it just don't uh, look good. That goes to show you, Harry, I don't know my own strength. Huh?